of August 2023. And I've just took the bath panel of the bath because I noticed right away big crack right along here. So that's all sunk away. The tiles came off, as you know, so I've took the other one off. That one came off the other one. In fact, it wasn't even fastened. Uh, and then we get the bath panel off and we stick our head under here and you can see it's absolutely soaking under here. You've had a leak for a long, long time. And the fact it's been sealed with tiles, no one's been able to get to it. You can see a drip there on that pipe. Well, I think that'll be for your hot tub, is it? Or not, that's for the cold. Hot's over there. We have the shower that's teed in to the pipe, and even that's been leaking. If you look under here, you can see a drip. I don't know if I'll get it, I'll show you. There's a drip on the pipe there. And there's a drip there on the cold as well. So hot and cold has been leaking. It's been going on the floor. It's done a bit of damage. And if I take my screwdriver, and I put it here, watch this. It's just, look, even the boards are moving. The floor's rotten. I'm afraid the bath has to come out. So I think maybe see about measuring up for a new bath while we're at that stage. The floor under here is all rotten as well, look at this. Look at that. Saturated. Mm -hmm. Bigger problems than I thought. Holy shit. Oh wow. Holy shit. Oh, look at this. Right, <laughs> I just watched that video back and I, I did get a shock, no wonder. Now, I've just managed to get this other panel ready for moving. I might have to get the multi tool and zip it down the side there, but get out of the road now. If we look under here, right, you go over there. Right, can you see it? Now, look. <laughs> This is the pipe from the bath, that's from the sink. So the flow comes that way and this way, and it's heading that way. Right, the pipe's disconnected. That's not even in. That's come dislodged for some reason, then <laughs> they've tried to make the water go uphill. If I get my phone, I need to close the, the well, I figured to see it, but look, it's, it's disconnected. Try this is pretty complicated, right? Where my finger, the tip of my finger, you see the end of the pipe, it's pushed at the connector, but it's sitting out, and that pipe's trying to go uphill. And it looks like this, and that's all your insulation. That's how the house insulation starts coming out. Look at the size of the bloody thing that they've done. Right, I need to go and look at this outside and see what we've got here. Wow. Look at the amount of damage that's been done under here. Wow, that's been doing that for a long, long time. Now it's soaked up through the wood. The post support, if you like. Odd in there. Look at the skinny legs sitting on that floor. Look, they're all rusted. 
There's that one. That one over there. And that's why the bath's dropped. And it absolutely stinks of dampness, by the way. Okay. Well, if I can get this phone to sit here somewhere like that. But I've just took all the tiles off here, right? The ledge. I believe it or not, the one even stuck in that well. The reason being, this is absolutely soaking. Over here is rotted. Right. This is gone. It's gone. There's nothing there. So this is going to come up so I can try and get to the drainage to repair it, which is under there and it goes along here and outside. So I'm going to, to get this off. Bear with me. Right, it's off. You can see how much it's been getting wet here. But there's a culprit down there. Let me see if I can put a light on the subject. Can I get a light on? Yes. And that's what we're dealing with. See how the pipes come out? Right there. I can reach down here to get to that. That's where your water's been running out of. Hmm. They're running it again. Wow. Big problems. Big problems. Right. Let's see if I can balance you there while I try to repair this. This wasn't even tight. It's been shoved in a pipe. I don't even know if there's a rubber on it. I haven't had a proper look yet. Let's see if I can get it tight. Wow. That's the tightest it's ever been. It must be a rubber because it's starting to grip. Let's just run this tap in it. Hmm. I think what we're going to have to do a temporary fix. Put some kind of button under this this bath to stop it sinking anymore so they can still use it to a degree. So they're gonna to have to just have a bath or a shower and not high up. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit better. Now, this is when you realise your errors because I just put fucking water on the bath now with the nail in the cunt. Real life plumbing. So I'm going to document this. I might even bring my camera down tomorrow and start recording this. Pretty tight. Tell you what it was anyway, because it wasn't tight at all. Right, so let me get something under there. What I'm gonna have to do because it's playing this bath. I'm gonna have to try and get something under. Under here just to support it, or that's going to fall right through the bloody flare. And I don't know, I don't know what this is sitting on, I think it's just sitting on the wood. Same as that side. It's a foot there, see it? That's the one. And they're all kind of rotted anyway, they're all rusted. So, definitely a new bath. I'll have to batten this out. But well, first, this is going to have to come out. These the vinyl tiles or whatever they are, they're going to hit you come up. And this is state the floor and under it. So, let's grab my chisel here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Now that's going under there. I'm pushing into that floor really easy. There's a bit of resistance, it might be okay. 
Mm-hmm. The better work to be done yet. And now I understand why the plaster on the other side of the stairs had to get done. Because that dropped away, it's no longer waterproof. So water's soaking right through. It's starting to show up there. And I just did all that. Hmm. Right. Gonna get a bit of lunch and think about this. Okay, right. Endoscope is powered on. We're up and running. Now I just have to pair it to my phone. Give me a second. Right. I've paired it to my phone and I'm putting the endoscope down the hole. But first you've got to check the orientation of the camera. Because it comes in, you've seen it. It's all reeled up, so then you stretch it out and put it in the hole. You've, on the screen, you can rotate the picture so you need to get a level. I've pretty much got it. It's hard to make it at times like, but it's just enough so I can go down and just see there's a puddly water. There's a bit of shit on the lens, so you can't really see it too well, but it's enough to make out. If it was a puddle, it'd be reflective and you would see it. Because the light from the camera would be reflecting on the water. It would bounce back, you would see it and they bother the camera, but nothing there. So, to me, it doesn't look too bad. But, <laughs> no puddle of water doesn't mean no problems, but we'll get to that in a wee minute or two. But, first inspection, not too bad. Right. A close inspection with the, the endoscope. I just poked it down the hole and we look about it, it looks, I don't see puddles of water anywhere, so it's almost just soaking away somewhere, or running away somewhere. So, this is coming out. I'll have to find out where to turn the, the water off. Get that turned off, get the pipes cut, blanked off. We've got a couple of iso valves on it. First off, you get the shower screen off. Get this off. Then I'll nip away and get a couple of blanks. Get that blanked off. And we are ready to start putting this, or start getting this ripped out. Nah, it's a reduced. It's a reduced couple of so we're going from 15 to 22. Right, so I can blank that pipe off with a 15 blank. This one here, the two pipes at the back are going to the sink. And the one coming here is a 22, so I need right. Okay. Right, I want to document this whole journey with this job here, and I've just come into the kitchen and looked in the covers to find, try and find the main stopcock to the house, the main water main, and that's it there. And that's been dripping for a bit as well. Tell table thing was, I was looking to see whether there's any corner boxing or something to take the pipes upstairs, but I caught my eye, come down. Is it sticking it for the wall there? Down. Down it there. Now at least I know where that is. Um, put this up the top. So I need to get the water shut off. And get the pipe's disconnected. Get the blanked off. You start getting the kitchen it, eh, the bath it.
and there's what we have. So I've no idea what that's like, but I'm going to get this white pipe of the road, the strain one. Get the waste of the road, and then we'll get the floor a scrape and see what it's like underneath, and hopefully we'll find some good news. I hope. Let's see what we come across. Yeah, uh, shop panel. Left of the bath panel. Okay, as you can see I'm documenting everything about this job and you'll probably see me smashing that floor well, didn't have to smash it, just push the hammer through it really, it's all rotten. Look at the joist. Instead of replacing them I'm going to hate to take all this back. Uh, I'll just show you, like around this pipe, like this. I'm going to put my gloves on. I'm going to put my gloves on and watch this. Um, just have to go for it. Watch. Right. Oh, the water's splashing off. This is a bit over there. Hmm. Bit of work involved anyway, but uh, we'll crack on. See how we get on, mate.
Well, hello everybody. Here we're at the the job where a bit more than expected it was unexpected. This is where all the flood happened. Uh, I'll put the video in the now my reaction to what happened just after I took the bath panel off. Holy shit! What we had to do is rip the floor up as much well for all the rot anyway. Replace all the floorboards and put two or more plywood on top of it so it spreads the weight out so it's nice and solid now. What I'm going to do is, just for the record, I'm going to take some damp readings from the wall. Now, let's go on the outside. Now, this is a bit I repla repaired about five months ago. You can see how the damp is all coming through. So, let's see what we've got. 35%. 25%. It's six percent, ten percent. Just starting to get a bit drier here. Thirty-seven percent, twenty percent. Top of the stairs. So ten percent. Hello. Hello, Alfie. <laughs> What's that? What's that? <laughs> right, there's a lot of dampness there. Yep, 39%. Okay, so that's outside the wall. Nothing there on the tiles. Well, the tiles are blocking it, so you'll never get a true reading. So let's see here. Thirty-seven percent. Thirty-five percent. Thirty-four. Thirty-eight. Thirty-seven. 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 Thirty-eight. I don't think I'll get anything through the, the grout. 13. 12, nah. We'll get a proper reading through that. Here. 16%. 33 to 31%, 34%. Yeah. Uh, uh, I suppose I'm one maybe caught it when my dad. Don't know if I'll get a reading from the flooring. What have we got there? <laughs> 39%. That's on the floor. That's where the grub's been peeling off. Let's try this bit here. 35%. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see if it's coming to the hall. Let's try here. We're still in the bathroom. 39%. Oh. We're coming to the hall. We're rolling 12%. Well, yep. 75%. Now I've got a funny feeling this floor I'm standing on. She doesn't want this lifted right now. I've got a funny feeling we've been that wet when it dries it'll turn to dry rot. And then it's a major uphaul. Got to take all this up and replace most of the flare and who knows what the joists are like. One over there was shot, that's why I had to brace it. Right, there we are. State of things in the bathroom. So the bath doesn't arrive till Tuesday. So it's going to have to remain like this for over the weekend, as Monday's a bank holiday. Typical. But the drainage is all done. When I've done the drainage outside, I'll put a picture on the screen. There we are. Damp reading has been done. 
Well, thanks everyone for watching the video. I appreciate your comments. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up for all the hard work I'm doing. Uh, I'm just actually editing the video right now, so yeah. I'm just about to go live with it, stick it on YouTube and see what happens, see what you guys think. And it's a wee different kind of video. But it's not just the video, it's uh, the whole scenario of the week I've just encountered there with going down. The intention were just to paint an enamel bath and sort of a bit of grouting. And this is where we've ended up. Please do me a favour, get the word out there, CRG Handyman Services at your service. And who knows? what I might find in your house. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Take care. Part two will be coming up soon. <coughs> Got to make it first. Catch you later. Take care, guys. All the best. Keep it real.